Hey there, and uh, good job for downloading your uh, passport photo for free, and I hope you uh, got some good value out of watching our Lightroom tutorial. It's quite a good, uh, quite a good program. It's a great replacement for uh, Aperture, Apple's previous uh, photo editing software. They even make the move from Aperture to Lightroom very easy for you here. And it's very, uh, very feature rich and easy to use, quite frankly. Um, um, one of my favorite features is the spot removal tool, such as uh, removing this guy from this awesome surf shot quite easily. It just replaces another portion of the wave and puts it in place of that other surfer or photographer. Um, and it's make it's perfectly suitable for adjusting your passport photos too. But I can definitely understand if you don't want to go through all of that. And if you just don't like editing your photos, that's totally fine. Um, so there is another way, and we don't want to hold back from showing you guys that. And it's pretty quick and easy. And that's called <laughs> that's using preview. You already got it. It's uh, especially if you got a Mac. It's the it's the function that always opens up all your photos just generally, unless you have a preset to open up in something else. Uh, but your preview and uh, PC should have something similar or preview actually. In case you don't, let's just go over here. Start clicking preview in your Finder, and it should pop up. Go ahead and open it. There's a previous photo of my friend. We'll go to open recent passport example for this example for the ladies because uh, a lot of times you guys have a lot bigger hair than us gents and it would be harder to adjust so this could be a little bit quicker way for you guys so I'm um, using this as an example this might not be the best passport photo um, it's a great photo taken candidly but um, obviously it's a little too big on her face and her heads too up uh, more too close to the top of the frame and uh, she does have a lot of her ears covered and maybe maybe a too much hair in front of her face and uh, this neck or uh, probably some bitch is cold, holding a badge down there or something so uh, for the sake of demonstration this will work but I would not submit this for a passport photo but for this we're just getting her the background so open up your uh, preview and just open up a photo and this is probably what we always see but let's just click on this little toolbox right here. A lot of people don't know that that's there. So let's just click it. Opens up a whole toolbar here. This is great. This is a great uh, way you can uh, not only just adjust your photos, but like add cool stuff too, such as arrows or boxes. Um, a lot of times I open up documents in preview, and then you can say, uh, you know, add an arrow and point to something like, I don't know, in this case, this earring, and maybe add a box and then add some text in the box oops keep the thing there and then start typing whatever you want it's a great little kind of mini infographic tool and a lot of people don't know that that's the function is there again we also have uh, ways to delete the background of that make it clear and stuff like that but that's not what we're going to be doing today command Z in my way out of this going back to the beginning just delete okay so what we wanted to use here is this magic wand um, instant alpha this is a uh, adding an alpha channel to uh, your photo I'm basically deleting the background you're not adjusting the photo you're literally making uh, the background not there while keeping the same dimensions of the photo it's a little bit different it's a uh, what you can use in other programs too as well, such as GIMP, but actually this, I think this works better, uh, this, this alpha program. So let's go ahead and click it. It kind of looks like a brush, right? All right, so let's zoom in. Uh, you can either click on the little magnifying glass here or pinch as well. So go on any portion of the background, click and pull. Just click and pull and it's pretty obvious what will happen. You'll see it and the further you pull, the more alpha channel it adds. And either way too is fine. See how it kind of follows the original color for whatever you picked. I picked the bricks. There it notices what's there. All right, let's just remove and it outlines what it already sensed from the original pull in the background that you just did. What we're gonna do, just hit the delete button. Oh, you get this little pop-up you want to convert to a PNG? Yes, that's fine. Don't worry about that. It's just another file format for uh, images. And boom, there you go. <laughs> Background deleted. 
pretty easy. Do the same thing with this brick. Is it going to recognize that part? Yep. Go slow. There we go. Get rid of that. And look how quick and easy that was. And we'll slowly go all the way over here. Now this is the tough part. A lot of times it leaves this, but there's an easy way around that. Come on. There we go. Let's come over here to this part. Click and drag. And let's go somewhere else. Let's start here. Delete. Whoops, too much. Delete. So uh, as you can see, it's looking to be pretty easy. Let's go back to for an, another example. There's another tool here. Um, your just a selection uh, tools, either a circle or elliptical or a rectangular. Um, same thing. That'll work great too. Just select an area. Delete. As simple as that, right? Let's go back. Same. We'll do a smart lasso. Um, this is great. In theory, it's kind of like your adjustment brush with the feather. Um, at least it's supposed to be. But it won't do as good of a job. Um, you would think it would do that whole thing, but it won't. If you click delete, it'll delete the whole photo. Control back. So with, with this, you want to highlight an area. And then just go over, and you can come back to the middle, and you'll be good. And click delete. Hopefully, it follows the contour of your hair. As you can see, it's all really spiky and stuff here. That's because it's smart. It's supposed to follow uh, the contour that you set. But again, it's not as good. And as an easy uh, cut, if you release your cursor right now, it'll automatically draw a line back to the original spot. Click delete. Um, I actually think it looks a little jagged, maybe, but I might do uh, do fine. Let's go back and show you, show you one more tool, your lasso selection. This is where you can uh, click and drag on your own. No smart tool. If you have a steady hand, this should be fine. So we can even zoom in even more. Click on anywhere and slowly drag your cursor along the contour of wherever you want to go. Let's use that as an example and just move up. And it'll finish the draw or finish the box by drawing the shortest line between where you let go and where you started. In this case, the triangle. Go ahead and hit delete, and there you go. So, again, let's just go back. I actually think the instant alpha is easier. Whoop. Hey, there it is. And there we go. Delete. This is just what I like to do. Delete. One more up there. So, let's zoom in, get rid of some of that. The bricks, oh, too much. Maybe on this side. Slowly pull, add more, add more, add more. All right, looking, looking awesome. Uh, but we still got some other stuff here that's not hitting. Can actually try to see if you can get it with the alpha. You can, uh, it's sensitive though. And it still might leave a little bit of an outline. I don't know if you can see that on here, but um, it's really quickly easy to get. Go ahead, instead of using any lasso or smart lasso, just use your squares and circles, your elliptical or rectangular selection. Um, it's really easy. So I'll just go over here, create a generic one. You can move it wherever. And adjust it wherever. Delete. Move that over. Delete. Again. Delete. Don't want to go too over. And we can switch to the circle right now. Zoom in. And it's just basically slowly and slowly adding circles to delete your background, or excuse me, add your alpha channel. 
And there we go. Zoom out. Look much better. Got to put stuff in the corner there. Delete. And let's go ahead. That does look kind of poor. Excuse the button clicks too. Sorry about that. Looking pretty good. One more pixel. Get rid of you. Okay. Actually, I would get rid of that. That just looks a little suspicious. I don't know if this will work. Mm. Actually, I will use a lasso selection for this. There. Much better. And the same for over here. Finish this photo or this section. I love preview for uh, like a lot of uh, guides and presentations at your home or office or even for some little parties or guides. You can add a lot of circles and squares like I was showing you up here, these uh, selectors, stars, and uh, arrows or you know comment blocks if you want to have her saying something. Oh my god, I love my passport photo, yay. You know, you can do that. Granted, don't give that to the officer that'll be choosing or uh, accepting your application, but it's fun to play around when I noticed something up here that looked a little odd. Yeah, get rid of that. Since your photo will be around for 10 years, might as well go slow and make this look good, right? There you go, get rid of that. Zoom back out, pinch. We're looking pretty good right there. There might be some other stuff over here we'll get rid of really quick. Boom, boom, boom. Granted, this is our edge of our line, edge of our photo. Delete. Great. Uh, we are done. Um, again, I would not submit this because they're, it's too high up toward the frame, but your background is deleted. Or add, added uh, alpha channel, rather. Um, that's great, but you can't see it right now. Where did it go? We want to come up over here. <laughs> there it is. Show image background. I guess I should have found that before I started recording. That's fine. There. There's your... Uh, there's your um, background your background added so see how it like literally move the background that's why you have the uh, checkerboard in the back showing you that there is literally nothing there so if you take uh, this lady's photo and put it over another photo the background will be right here so if uh, we shrunk her photo down and we wanted to put her photo on here you wouldn't get the square background this checkerboard part would be the waves and stuff in the background, and her face would be right on top. And that's great. Um, unlike the other, which we did in uh, Lightroom, that's not adding an alpha channel to the back. That's overexposing the background. So um, when you print this on your photo paper, it'll be the color of the photo paper. It won't be anything in any other color. So please keep that in mind, but it shouldn't matter since... Uh, Photo paper is glossy white anyway, and you should be fine. So go ahead and go to print. And right here, you want to choose paper size. Again, like we did before, scroll up, and you should have 4 by 6 or 5 by 7 or whatever type of uh, photo paper you chose to buy. And that's it. A lot of people might choose that way over Aperture, or excuse me, Lightroom, but both work just as well. And actually, this might work a little bit better for ladies, but either way, um, go slow and retake as many photos as you need to to get the one that's right for you and that you're pleased with. And yeah, happy traveling. If you have any other questions concerning uh, photos, visas, or even uh, Global Entry and Century, don't forget to shoot us an email or hit us up on social. And continue scrolling down on this little guide. We'll show you where the best place to get your photo paper is from. In addition to uh, the other types of printers you may need, honestly, quick hint, any type of printer you buy now will be fine. We'll output, we'll output in plenty of resolution for all your passport photos. Go ahead, uh, get out there, and enjoy your travels. Thanks for watching. Bye.